Yo, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be watching Squid Game Episode 5, which is called A Fair World. I don't even want to talk before we get into this because last episode left on that huge ass cliffhanger. Kind of know what's going to happen though, but I just want to see how it's going to happen because obviously our main characters aren't going to die. But I want to see how it works, how it all plays out, and um, I'm excited for the rest of the show. I mean, I love the first three episodes, but like when I got to episode four, that's when things started to get crazy and really ramped up. And now I'm actually invested in the characters, so I feel like it's easier to get invested in the story as a whole because of that. So if you want to see the full uncut reaction, of course, as always, that'll be available on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. And let's watch this episode. Oh, we're getting right into it. We're getting right into it. <laughs> I love this scene so much. There was so much well built up intensity. <laughs> they went right to the. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> it worked. Obviously, we knew it was gonna work, but like, damn. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna do it. <laughs> that would be so terrifying, man. They're so high. Whoa. That shit's gotta cut. Damn. I feel like the person who was in the anchor could probably live that fall, but... I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> they're gonna put you in a box anyways. Yeah, there's always at least one of them that's still alive, it seems. Yeah, your hands would be hella messed up after that. My hands get messed up just from the gym. <laughs> Couldn't imagine how it would be doing that. What the man pray? I mean, she's right, but I mean, let, let the man, let the man have his beliefs. Well, you don't have to be mean either. Come on. Be nice to each other. <laughs> okay, she's kind of mean, but she's kind of funny, too. <laughs> she's so reserved. She's not, She's definitely not an open book. I bet 101 was hoping that they'd all be dead. Yeah, they all assumed the other team was gonna win, yeah. Are we going to get to see the other teams go? Probably not, because no one really cares about the other teams. There was no characters that we know on them, you know? Is this girl going to be part of the main group now? <laughs> Does anyone actually eat corn of the cob that perfectly? Like, I feel like I just go, I just go at it, like, all around. I'm not, like, perfectly eating every little bit of it. I guess in their situation, you don't want to waste a single bit of food. Are they going to do another attack tonight? I got a feeling they are. I got a feeling they are. No, don't attack. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I, I think that girl's like my favorite character, to be honest. Hey, what do you want? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> He's saying all the right things right now. It's exactly what you got to put in his head. He's going to assert his dominance right now, isn't he? <laughs> All these guys are such simps for him, it's kind of funny. Yeah, getting rest is important, because if you're not going to get rest, then you guys are going to get... You might get into a game the next day that might require you to be somewhat energized. Like, I mean, tug of war clearly required energy. So, rest could be good. Yeah. yeah, and it takes a while to wake people up too, if it's just one of you. People not, might not wake up in time. Only 40 people left, yeah. Damn, that's not a lot. There's only three games left, right? They did. They, there's, I'm pretty sure there's six games, so they did three, then three left. Looks like a really realistic body 
with the organs that looks really real. It's good practical effects. I mean, knowing what the game is won't automatically save you. It'll give you an advantage. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he's just waking him up, right? <laughs> Scared the shit of him. Why, why do you gotta go for his neck like that? Just tap him on the shoulder or the leg or something. I don't know. <laughs> what the one dude said really got in his head. What the hell? Who did that? What the hell? Is this like a flashback of something that happened to him? I don't know. Oh. It looked like a protest of some sort that went to shit. This is some deep shit that they're doing. It's crazy. Interesting how they call them zombies if they survive. Oh no. Is he recording this? He's definitely recording the audio with his phone. <laughs> He's about to grab his gun there, I think. <laughs> I love how he's able to yell all this at them and it's not like a big deal because he knows that they need him, so... <laughs> they just don't know the game yet? They just do it as they go? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of balls, but again, he knows they're not going to kill him, so... <laughs> they won't kill you if you don't know the next game. You can just tell them you're not finding out till tomorrow or so. I don't know. Maybe they will. I don't know. She doesn't want to take his hands off his weapon, though. I knew it! I knew it! Oh! Damn, shit's popping off! Well, now you're definitely not going to get to know what the next game is. Don't have a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> it literally is a maze. Oh, we're back here. Shit. You have to fight back. Take it off and just fucking yeet it at him. Oh. I wouldn't have done that. You're probably going to have to kill him. I wouldn't want to see his face if I had to kill him. I'd rather just not see his face, you know? It's harder to kill someone when after you see their face. Damn. So yeah, that was his brother. Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shoot him. I don't need to shoot him. <laughs> nice. I like that. This guy doesn't even give a shit that they're doing that. <laughs> oh, that's interesting.
Fuck. Are you kidding me? I spilt my water. I've literally never done that before, either. I'm so curious to see what this guy looks like. They got cameras around most of this place, so... Uh, this is not gonna be good. I'm sure they don't have many cameras in the captain's place. List of players. 1999. Does that mean they've been doing this for years? This is not the first time they've done it? Holy shit, this has been going on for decades. That's insane. This has been going on for decades. Oh shit, they're gonna find 29's empty. Oh no! Shit. Well, now he can't... He can't go back. So, that was years ago. That's interesting. Okay, so that episode was definitely much more, like, character-focused. Much more about building the story rather than, you know, getting on to the next game and stuff like that. Which I thought was fine. I think that's a good thing to try to build some of the characters up a bit. And had a lot to do with that side plot, which was kind of building up. And I thought it was quite interesting. But it seems like it was kind of over quickly. They don't seem like they're going to continue with it because... They made it pretty clear a big part of this game is equality and fairness, and I kind of like that. I found it to be kind of interesting. It puts a different perspective, a different spin on, on the, the game itself. At first, I kind of assumed that that little operation was like, you know, something that all of them were in on. It's just part of them making money, but now it was a little separate thing, and it makes sense. He's like, I don't really give a shit what you do with the bodies, but just don't be giving people information on the games and that's interesting and i kind of it just lets you learn a little bit more about that captain guy who i'm sure we'll see more of as the episodes go on so i definitely enjoyed that one but not as much as probably the last two at least hopefully you all enjoyed if you want to see the full uncut reaction as always that'll be available on my patreon which is in the description down below don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and peace out